Hey, good morning, all. Welcome to the Twin Cities Virtual Walk to Defeat ALS. Hey, it's Corey Heppela. I'm with Newstalk 830 WCCO. And, uh, you know, I always look forward to this event because it just gives me a chance to reconnect with, with a lot of friends here. And, and so many of you uh, impacted uh, and so many of you who are involved here with the ALS community. So it's good to be together. Unfortunately, as you know, 2020, I mean, it's been a year, right? It's been a year. And at this point in time, it's just, it's just not safe, and it's not safe for us to gather at Lake Phelan as we normally would. And actually, this year, we were going to be ready to take on the Mall of America, which we were very excited about, uh, and that would have been a lot of fun. But, of course, I, I do feel fortunate to have the opportunity to join you here virtually, and we are all together in this form, and that's good. So we're still here, and we still have the same goal in mind, and that's bringing an end to ALS. Now, as soon as we announced that this would be a virtual event, and asked you to walk your way, we were, we were amazed by all the creative ideas and activities that you and your teams came up with. We're actually gonna hear from a few of those teams in just a moment, but um, before we do that, let me get someone in here who many of you know quite very well, call her a friend, she's great. Her name is Jen Jelly, and she is the Executive Director at the ALS Association. Jen, good morning. Thanks, Corey. Uh, so wish that you were here to pass that off to me in person. Uh, but good morning to all of you. And I wish that we were in person. We were super excited for this year's Walk to Defeat ALS in the Twin Cities to be at the Mall of America, our new venue. But you know, 2020 has thrown us a few, few curveballs. But you all just continue to be so amazing in your unwavering support of the association and more importantly, families living with ALS. You have come up with all sorts of creative ways to do this walk your way in a way that works for you. Uh, and that is wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm sure many of you saw the exciting news last week about a promising ALS drug that went through a phase two trial, and this is from Amalex. And uh, we are really excited about what this could mean for the ALS community. You likely saw that it can slow down the progression of the disease, and that is one step closer. And it's good reason to why these events are so important. That study and that early research was actually funded by the Ice Bucket Challenge. That's amazing. And that's because of all the things that you all are doing to promote this cause, to create awareness, and to raise funds. So we are incredibly grateful that you continue to support us, even in this challenging time, because we know that ALS does not stop because of a global pandemic. So we're not gonna either. So a huge thank you to all of our team captains and all of the people that you've, you've brought to the table. A huge thank you to all of our sponsors uh, that continue to support us even in times of uncertainty. I am optimistic with all of this just positive energy that we are gonna continue to find breakthroughs and we are gonna get to our vision of a world without ALS. And I know that's why all of you are here today. So thank you, have a great walk, and I'm gonna pass it back to Corey. Awesome, great, thank you for that message, Jen, and, and hello to all of you just joining us now in the live stream for the Twin Cities Virtual Walk to Defeat ALS. Now, as you can see, we're clearly not at the Mall of America, but that's okay. I'm looking forward to seeing all the fun ways that you choose to participate throughout the day, and make sure that you post your photos here in the stream so that we can go ahead and, and cheer you on too. Now, I had mentioned earlier that we'd be hearing from some of our fantastic teams about why this event is just so meaningful to them, and we're about to do that, but first, let me call to attention the important research news that broke just this past week, uh, this last week, about the potential new ALS treatment from Amalex. This is huge news. We actually talked about it on my show on WCCO Radio, um, and it's giving hope to so many families living with this disease. It's important to recognize that your efforts what you have done at events like this, raising awareness and funding is what fuels these research breakthroughs. So thank you. Thank you for all that you do to help build a world without ALS. Well done. All right, let me bring in Ashley Yoder from the ALS Association to introduce some of our amazing walk teams. Ashley, hey there. Hey Corey, thanks. Good morning and happy walk day 2020. Things may look a little bit different this year, 
But if we know anything, it's that you, the ALS community and warriors, are resilient and steadfast in your support. ALS doesn't stop just because of COVID-19, so neither do we. Now more than ever, we are so grateful for you, each of you participating in your own way, fundraising big or small, donating what you're able, and raising awareness. While I was looking forward to celebrating 20 years of this momentous walk at the Mall of America, hearing how each of you is celebrating today and honoring your ALS hero in your own unique way has been very inspiring. Each year, this walk raises more and more, and this year is no exception. The fundraising thermometer grows by the hour, and we're well over 75% of our way to the goal. I am astounded at this number, and it gives me goosebumps to see the determination of each of you to continue helping our chapter serve over 600 families living with ALS in our region this year and funding research projects until there is a cure. I have met countless inspiring families affected by ALS in my five plus years working at the chapter that keep me focused on our mission. But I'm also personally dedicated to the cause. In 2014, I walked to defeat ALS in honor of my mom, Robin, living with ALS. We lost her later that year. She was my best friend in the prime of her life and a role model to many. We don't know if her ALS was genetic or sporadic, but now more than ever, I'm on a mission for a cure, as we hope myself and our three-month-old baby Hazel do not have a genetic form. So today we're walking or stroller riding to defeat ALS for Grandma Robin and for each of you that has been touched by an ALS hero. Thank you for showing up in a big way. I'm passing it over to a fellow ALS warrior and dear friend, Andy. Take it away. Hi everyone, I'm Andy Robb from Team DLJ. Um, we are walking for our ninth year. We walk in memory of my mother who ended her battle with ALS in 2010. Since then, we have raised over $60,000 for the Minnesota, North Dakota, and South Dakota chapter. We are walking and we will not stop walking until there's more meaningful treatment and eventually a cure. So thank you so much for doing everything that you do. Let's walk your way and let's unlock ALS. Good morning, Twin Cities. This is Gary Ship, Corporate Relations Manager for the chapter. Thank you for joining us here for the 2020 Twin Cities Walk to Defeat ALS, Walk Your Way. Just wanna take some time here this morning to send a special thank you to our sponsors who make this event possible. I wanna start with our national partners, MT Pharma, the New Motion Foundation, and the Permobile Foundation. Thank you guys very much for your ongoing and longstanding support. And I also want to give a very big thanks to our local partners, starting out with 98.5. KTIS is our voice sponsor. Then we have, in memory of Bob Nimitz, the Minnesota Twins, Northwestern Mutual, Randy's Electric, and Spartan Nash in their local stores family fair. Again, thank you to our sponsors this morning for helping us to make the Twin Cities Walk possible. We hope you have a great walk today. Thank you. Reliable Medical has been a proud sponsor of the ALS Walk for over a decade. We walk for our friends and family and all those affected by ALS. Thank you for your committed, continued commitment to fight ALS. Come join us today, virtually, and walk together in support to defeat ALS. All right, hey again, everybody. It is uh, really inspiring to hear some of your stories and recognize why the walk means so much to the ALS community. And again, thank you for all that you do. Now it's time to send you out into the world to walk your way. However, you're participating this morning. Doesn't matter, we love it. And we'd love to hear from you. You can post your photos in the comments here on the stream or then you know share them in your own feed and, and make sure though that you tag the ALS Association so that we can reshare those, retweet those, whatever it might be. And be sure to check back on the event page at noon where we'll post results and recognize some of our top fundraisers. Again, thank you so much to everyone who joined us today and for all the hard work that you've put in during what has been a really challenging 2020. 
Please know that you are making a big difference in the lives of those facing ALS in our region. So thank you all for what you do. Again, hey, it's Corey Heppola. Make sure that you make it a great day and enjoy it.